of Jesus. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, God, for all the blessings that you have given to us. And we ask, Father, tonight, Lord, that as we study your word, Lord, we realize that you are sovereign, you are in control. And it's more than just being in control, Lord, you love us. And that, Lord, that you have power over darkness, power over sin. And, Lord, if we submit ourselves to you and your righteousness, Father, you promise to deliver Lord, thank you for this gathering on our family training hour. Uh, Lord, as we gather together, Lord, to learn more about you and your word, God, we, uh, we, we're, we're going to lay aside all distractions, Lord, so that we can listen and, and be touched by the truth. Help us, God, oh God, to, to, uh, to love and to obey your truth. Help, Lord, tonight. Lord, guide us. Teach us. And Lord, we thank you for your care and your kindness. And Lord, comfort those who are in need of comfort tonight. Heal those who are in need of healing. Strengthen those who are weak. And Lord, help us, Lord, to lift up our feeble hands that hang down and say, Praise be to God on high. And thank you for sending your Son to us here below. In Jesus' name. And everyone said? Amen. Amen. <laughs> We're in 2 Peter tonight. 2 Peter in the second chapter. What's that again? Okay. I just want to make sure. Did I say that? Um, and we're going to have some time to talk about other things here following uh, this, this brief moment, this brief message, if you will. I, I want to I encourage you for something, because did you know that rescue is possible? You can be saved. But, you know, and, and I don't think sometimes we really know every, what all that means, what's it mean to be saved, and uh, and when we think we're in trouble, well, what's it mean to be rescued? Um, I mean, you know, terrible things happen in our world, don't they? Yes. Yes. Terrible things happen in our lives. <laughs> we have um, we have good days, we have bad days. We have, uh, well, Sister Linda and Brother William, uh, you know, suffering the loss of a child, and Sister Margaret certainly acquainted with that grief, uh, the death of a child. Regardless whether they're young or old, adults, it's mm -hmm. still it's, it's sad uh, in many ways. Death is sad to begin with. We know it's part of life, but still, it, it's one of those terrible things. And if you watch the news long enough, you can get depressed. Yes. If you watch the news long enough, you'll suddenly become a modern-day prophet 
and declare that this is the day the Lord has made, but this is also the day that he's decided it's over. Um, but we read the scripture, and what we're supposed to do is still look unto Jesus. You know, the scripture talks about looking unto the hills, uh, but where does my help come from? It's not the Calvary. My help comes from, say it with me, God. Amen? Um, but terrible things happen. And, and we all know that bad things, that, that evil exists. Um, again, you know, watch the evening news or any other network, and you're going to see uncontrolled hate. You're going to see division. You're going to see senseless mistreatment of others. You know, you don't have to go far. You can actually experience some of that uh, even in the body of Christ. And most of this is going on because we're all still a mess. Turn to your neighbor and say, you know, I need Jesus. You know, I need Jesus. <laughs> and I'd like to share him with you. <laughs> Second Peter chapter 2. Second Peter chapter 2. <clears throat> Beginning in verse 1. But there were also... False prophets among the people, even as there will be false teachers among you, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the Lord who bought them, and bring on themselves swift destruction. And many will follow their destructive ways, because of whom the way of the truth will be blasphemed. By covetousness, they will exploit you with deceptive words. For a long time, their judgment has not been idle, and their destruction does not slumber. For if God did not spare the angels who sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into the chains of darkness to be reserved for judgment, and did not spare the ancient...